Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have some really exciting news to share. A while back, uh, Penny Black Stamps had a contest. It was called the Website Wonder Contest. And we were asked to submit projects um, using their current collection, Happy Everything. And this was one of the projects that I had submitted. And I got to know that it uh, won the con I won the contest. And I decided to do a um, video for them as a thank you and also to share with the rest of you all how this card came to life. I had a lot of requests for this particular uh, stamp set. It's called the Sunny Pair. And uh, I really have been wanting to do a video on this one. So here we go. Today I have it for you. Hope you enjoy it. And um, thank you so much for sharing this uh, awesome news with me. So I've used two stamp sets for this particular project. The first one is called the Sunny Pear, that's a sunflower. And as I said earlier, it's from their uh, Happy Everything collection. And the second one I've used just a sentiment from that particular stamp set and it's uh, called Thinking of You. The stamp set is called Thinking of You. And um, the rest is my usual technique, it's wet on wet. And I've used Distress Ink to stamp the image. And from there I've uh, just started coloring. I've used uh, Koi watercolors, Sakura, is by Sakura and I'm painting on uh, watercolor paper it's by Strathmore it's 140 pound that's the weight of the paper and that's the uh, paper that I usually use I do sometimes use 90 pound but I usually prefer using the 140 pound because I use a lot of water and it takes uh, water much better than the 90 pound paper and I do sometimes also use uh, 300 pound um, that's very thick and it's almost like cardboard and uh, I use that when I'm really using a um, lot more water than you would be seeing me use today so for today it's 140 pound paper by Strathmore and um, yeah it's my usual technique and uh, I go wet and wet on wet and as you can see I keep blending colors as I, I as needed right there on the paper I don't normally blend my colors on the palette because it's sometimes hard to judge so I'll leave you with some music and we'll be back in a bit So this artwork of mine was the most popular on my blog ever. I received a number of emails asking to do a video for this particular stamp set and showing you this technique and I just was waiting for I don't know what but uh, it just took me so long to do this it was one of the first ones that I had planned to do but um, anyway it's here today and uh, I, I was really excited when I heard that it had made it it's going to be shown on their website so if you stop by their website I'll leave a link below you might be able to see this uh, particular card there and um, this is actually a kind of my signature style and when I submitted it I thought Maybe I should do something that um, really truly really reflects uh, who I am and um, I like bright colors and bright but muted, not loud and I wanted to do something which was my signature technique. I like to do wet on wet and uh, um, dark backgrounds and florals are also one of my favorite ways uh, to paint watercolors. So I decided to submit this one amongst others. I submitted three and um, this one was chosen. I was really excited to know that. And um, so here we go. Today I have a video uh, showing you how I uh, had done that one. The colors are not the same, of course. Um, no artwork, two of them can ever be the same. And I really don't do well with uh, uh, replicating my own work. I just cannot do two of the same kind. So. In fact, when people ask me uh, on my blog if I can make them something that they have seen on my blog, my first response would be I can make them something similar but not the same because I just cannot replicate my own work. It's extremely hard for me to do two of the same kind. So I did change the colors, uh, not intentionally, but the colors are a little different from the original. 
but I think it lends itself to its uniqueness and um, that was in its place and this one is um, has its own place I did uh, try to use the same stamp of course and the sentiment and um, I'm hoping you're liking it So here I'm nearing the completion of uh, this particular piece. I just added the darks and a light splatter of uh, wet paint. It's just uh, regular watercolor paints, uh, just a little bit watery and runny. And I'll be spritzing it with some shimmer mist. It's gold. And I did the same thing even with the original. It gives it a nice um, uh, shimmery look. And um, that's all that I did with this card. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun doing it for you. And uh, thank you once again for sharing this news with me. And uh, thanks to Penny Black too. Hope to see you around soon. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to watch more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.